What's up guys, it's Moritz here from Section Store today and we're gonna be having a look at this section right here. It's a featured product slider, one of many we're actually offering in our store. We're gonna have a look at a few more and I'm gonna show you how it's actually working. You can link certain products of your very own Shopify store in there and I'd say we just jump right into it. I'll show you first how you can get the app itself. So here you can download Section Store. It's a library for components which you can install into your Shopify store. After you've successfully done that, you're going to head on over to your Shopify admin area where we want to be opening up the Section Store right here. And then you head to Sections. And I'll show you real quick what we got right here. So if you type in Slider, you're going to see we have a bunch of different options right here. Part of them are actually inside a bundle or you can just buy the single one. So the one you saw right here was part of the tech bundle. So we can either buy single components or whole bundles. But for this tutorial, we're going to pick the tech product slider. We also have a few which are a bit more expensive, but those ones offer more customization options. But yeah. Yeah, like I said already, it's a one-time purchase of $9. That means there are no hidden subscription fees or anything. So if you bought it once, you're going to own it forever. And after successfully buying the section, we head back to the home area where we're going to be facing this little interface right here. And after you found the section, you can simply click on it and add it to the Dawn Light theme. I've done that already, so I'm not going to do it again and after you've done that you just open up your online store and click on the customization button or click here on the little dawn life button so yeah let's go to the editor which should be right here if you're wondering uh, about this section i made you uh, made a video about it the other day so you can also get it in our store it's called a review section and yeah but we just jump right into it so i'm gonna quickly can add section right here look for the spider we just installed product slider open it up and we're gonna save it up real quick so the interface is showing it properly right now it's looking a bit weird yeah there we have it always takes a little bit so i'm gonna actually show you how to put in one product and then uh, open up another one where i already put in all the other ones so yeah you can select the product right here i'm just gonna do a really generic one i picked this little head right there select that one and now we can either have a customization price tag and product title or we're just gonna delete that and it's gonna take the one from the product itself so that's pretty useful i think and we can also change the image width and everything so you can see that and i'm just gonna get rid of that one because for the tutorial i made one already where i put in a few of those products already so we just add the last two ones right here let's get two more products in there save it up so you can see it properly so that should be done in a second okay perfect and i think we need one last product for that so yeah like i said already you can either pick a product right here or you can all customize it yourself but like that you can even click on the product as well and it will directly link you to it but if you just want to have the interface of it, you can also just put in a price tag, a product title, and then select an image. So yeah, let's select that last product, which we will not be able to see for now because it's basically hidden. That's the little trick of the slider right here. Get rid of the text. Save it up. And in a second, you can actually see how it's all looking. But before we're going to open it up in the, in the live view, we're going to be having a look at the customization options of the whole thing. So here you can change the title. So we say 
popular products, for example, but we want the headline centered, looking good, looking sweet. Do we want shadow or not? In this case, we do because we have white boxes and I think it does make sense. Do we want that hover effect we're getting or we want it to be just plain? And do we want to see the arrows on mobile or not? So if we actually go to mobile, there is not going to be arrows. Maybe we have to give it a little reload. So yeah. Yeah, now they're hidden actually. But I think, yeah, it's actually better without the arrows on mobile. So yeah, but that's up to you at the end. You can even select um, different icons for the arrows. So if you're not happy with the ones we have right here, just pick your own, whatever you prefer. The card roundness is also customizable. Let's just make it really extreme to show you. But I think we are good with four pixels. The icon size is also changeable. One right here, whatever you prefer. I think it looks pretty sleek like that. You can change the title color to whatever color or corporate identity your shop is already having. The product title font is also changeable. Let's make it a bit smaller. Yeah, cool with that. And last but not least, the price is also changeable. But I think it's good like that. The section background color is also a thing we can customize. I'm just going to give you a really extreme example, but I think we are good with a little gray here. And also the colors of the title, the product title, and the price are changeable. So let's make the price in purple just for the sake of this video. And padding and section width are also thing we can change up. So let's save it all and have a look at it in the live view. Okay, there we have it. Let's scroll down. This was the review section I spoke about. You can also get in our store. But yeah, here we have the product slider, which is working in both directions and by also holding it long, it's operating as well. And you can see the arrows have a little delay and display after a while. But yeah, that's that. I hope you guys found that useful. And if you did, always feel free to leave a like, friendly comment, or a follow. It really helps us to make those videos and keep the motivation up as well. And yeah, have a good one.